Today we're going to go through how to find the hybridization of an atom and a compound. The first thing you need to know is that a single bond, a double bond, a triple bond, and a lone pair of electrons all stand for the same thing. And what that is, is one value. All of these stand for one point. That means whether a carbon, for instance, is bonded with a single bond, a, tri a double bond, a triple bond, or a lone pair, it's always going to count as one point, and that's something you need to remember. Now, with that knowledge, uh, what we see is that if you have four points, uh, you have a hybridization of sp3. Three points, sp2, and two points is just sp. Now you'll get a better understanding of how to determine the number of points that a compound has uh, as we go through some examples. So let's try one. Okay, so our first one, methane, uh, has four hydrogens bonded to it. So we have to look at the central atom, which is a carbon. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to circle every bond that it makes. So there's one. There's two, there's three, and there's four. And what we said, if a uh, atom has a, a steric value around it of four, we know that it's going to be sp3, because it has those four bonds around it, and like we said, each single bond represents one point. Let's try another one. Our next one has a carbon attached to an oxygen and two hydrogens. So let's take a look. We'll circle this double bond, and as always, a double bond is going to count as one point, the same as a single bond. There's another one, and there's our third one attached to that last hydrogen. So we have three uh, values, three points, and if we have three points, we know that we have a hybridization of sp2. Our next one is a beryllium attached to two fluorines. So let's look at what's around here. So what you might do, and this might be a bit of a mistake that some of you may make, is you might consider circling these lone pairs. And actually that would be incorrect because we just have to look at what's around the beryllium. So we just have to look at the central atom because that's what we're trying to determine the hybridization of. So beryllium only has a steric value of 2, so it has 2 points, so the hybridization is going to be sp. Our next one is a nitrogen bonded to 3 hydrogens and has a lone pair on it. Now, this one for the lone pair, you actually will count it because it's attached to the central atom, which is the nitrogen. So 1, 2, three, four. Once again, we have a steric value of four, and that means we will have a hybridization of sp3. So, to recap, a single bond, a double bond, a triple bond, and a lone pair of electrons, all of those equal one point. All of them stand for one point. Be sure to remember that, because it's important. And if we have four points, that means we have a hybridization of sp3. If we have three points, sp2. And two points is just sp. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below in the comments.